Take 5 with Rico Vibes, the ultimate in entertainment. Live interviews, social commentary, and so much more. Go tell somebody you're now locked into Take 5 with Rico Vibes. What's up, everybody? It's yours truly, Rico Vibes, and welcome to another edition of Take 5. As you can see, I'm not in the studio, but I'm in pure music studio, Delhi Ranks. Yeah, yeah, welcome, welcome <laughs> to the hit room, the pure music. Yes, this is where all the hits are made, huh? Yes, right, yes, sir, right, yes, sir. Man, man. You know, we're going to, we're going to, this is going to be a fun show because, you know, <laughs> I've been knowing you 20 plus years and I've never, I've never really interviewed you in this settings. Nothing be the right time. Facts, facts, facts. So let, let's go back, man, you know, um, how did you get started in the business? Well, um, while residing in downtown Kingston, they call it Southside, you know. Mm. I entered and won a DJ contest one Wednesday night, right at Middle Lane and Bar Street corner, right this at Jimpy. Mm. And from a window contest there, I just love it and just start doing it. What, what, year, what year was this? I was, I was like nine years old, so that was <laughs> way back. <laughs> way back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So is, is this something that you always wanted to do? Did you ever have a, a plan B in mind? Well, I wanted to become a pilot, you know. Okay. So I always had a plan B, but the plan B come in a different way because I became a producer. I'm mm-hmm. um, a Grammy winning producer. Mm-hmm. And also, the Lord always have a backup for me. Gotcha. Gotcha. What, what was, you know, I asked Lexus this the other day. Uh, what was your first hit? Um, my first hit song is a Soundboy song called Soundboy General. Okay. A collaboration with, with my brother Ninja Teeth. If I don't play one more tune, you know the rest. God. Oh, man. I, I remember that tune. Yeah, that, that, that's back in 1993. Jeez. But I had song before that still. I right. had songs before that I go on. But that song, they raise all the eyebrows. And from this up, right. we just take on the journey and start dealing it wicked. Wow. T- take us back to the first time you heard your song played on the radio. Bring us back to that feeling. Well, I feel like everybody in the world did hear it. <laughs> and I big up Gary G and, mm. and big up a brother named Donovan Dakers. Because the first time I hear myself on the radio still, it was it was um a Saturday night, Donovan Dakers, I play upon JBC. Mm. And it was a dub plate. Mm. They get them of the never done now, done now, go put on murder. Wow. Wow. So did you call everybody and tell all your friends, family and everything that? Me, me never did, me, me never <laughs> even did know so the song I go play up on the radio. Oh, okay. People people say, Yo, we hear you up on the radio and to one person hear you and then two people hear you and a whole heap of people start telling about it. You feel like everybody in the world hear it. You know, and the next the, the Monday man when we go out arrows, you know. Dub plate, yeah, Lord. Dub plate. Wow. Was it that was was that the first dub plate you made? First? No, 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 okay. no. I, I've been to the recording studio back in nineteen eighty six. Um, when I when I went there to do a dub plate for Trisonic Sound, you remember the sound? Yeah, man, Trisonic Sound, man. Cause it was a sound that we used to practice for play upon. Gotcha. You gotcha. know, so we have to big up Johnny, mm-hmm. Dini, Ovris, um, Tika, mm-hmm. big up Hardly, Tony, and the whole crew. The whole crew from Mountain View, Jake Sword, to be exact. Wow. What was your first flyout? Where did you go? Bermuda. Bermuda. Yeah. For a weekend, or what was? Went there for. A little bit, little bit over a weekend, like six days. Okay. How was that event? Do you remember? <laughs> Yo, the <laughs> deal with it are weird. Big up Magic, the yeah. Soldier One crew. Big up the Southside crew in a, in, in a um, Bermuda. Mm. The Devil's World crew, mm. you know. Mm. Went there, myself and General B. And trust me, it was an event them talk about for years. I feel like they might talk about it even now. Wow. wow. What was the first Because at, at the time, you know, my uncle have two songs, you know. Two songs. Yeah. If you play one more tune and a song called Mara Go Fly, Blood Ever Run. Wow. And believe me, because I came from the, the sound system era where, where you put on a record and flip it over and DJ freestyle. I perform for, 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 for almost an hour. Wow. Almost an hour I perform for man and the place. Crazy, crazy. Can that happen today? Like, can you know, not that you want to talk about the DJs today, but can that happen today? Does, does that happen today at all? Well, flip over. Flip over and, and DJs, DJ for an hour with, with Lyrics after lyrics after lyrics off the dome. Yeah, it can happen if, if if you want to make it happen. Because I just I just came back from Jamaica where um I I I, I perform an original dance hall Thursday. Mm. You know, big up Peter Mitchell, Major Mackerel and the whole crew, Mr. Bangin, Sugar Banton and the whole crew over there, you know. Mm. Uh big up Quee Quee, I did it too. 
it was a good vibe because I never really got there with the rhythm. Mm. I just tell him to play some rhythm on my DJ. Right. So it still can happen. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Talk a little bit about um, work with different artists. For instance, Elephant Man, um, various artists. Um, working with Elephant Man, it was great because um, when we made when we made that EDX song, you know, I brought the idea to Elephant Man. Mm. He came to the studio to record another song, and I I brought the idea to him, and he said, "Let me hear it." And when my DJ tell him hear it, he said, "Yo, this bad." And I'm just go around in the studio, go do theme part, do him other song and go away. Then we do my part after that. Mm-hmm. The, the rhythm was the headache rhythm. The headache rhythm, yeah. You had something a little bit to do with the headache rhythm as well, right? Yeah, I was a co-producer on it. I, right. I, I did some of the productions on it for, for more music. Right. Was that was that your first production or was that your first hit production? No, because I, I used to do production for the Firehouse crew. Mm-hmm. You know, Big Up George Miller, Wrong Move, um, Danny and the whole crew. You know, I, I used to be in the studio. I, I was the one that, when the artist them go on the vice booth, I made the man tell him if that song you go go, or that song you go go. So what, what, when did you realize that you had that gift? It's a natural gift. I, I'll normally ever realize that I have it. I just I do what God tell me for do. Wow. Wow. So, so you, you know, you're an artist and you're also doing production. Which one did you, like, wear, wore more comfortable? Which hat did you wear more comfortable? I'm comfortable doing music. You know? It doesn't matter which which which, which, which avenue. Because I make with him too when I'm ready. Right. And when I feel like for mix two song, I just do it. You know? right. I'm a right song for people to and them thing. Right. I, ju- I just enjoy doing music and I think that's the gift God gave me. Gotcha. And, and, and I give thanks for it and I give praises to the most every day for that. Oh. What was your first hit production? Ah. Muda said the NSA rhythm. Hmm. You know, the NSA rhythm. Um, Capleton song, burning now. Can't take the fire, we'll be born to them around. Lexus have a song for it mm-hmm. to call anyway, whatever, mm-hmm. in a round net, being a man, elephant man, everybody did it on it. It was playing all about the place and thing. Right, right. What's the one after that? Um, Big Eat, I would have said Red Bull and Guinness. Red Bull and Guinness. But I have other productions were going good, but right. Red Bull and Guinness create waves all across the world, you right. know? The, then people start looking at me more as a producer and not an artist. And I always have to remind them, no, I'm the artist. I'm the artist. I'm the artist. <laughs> you know, because them love to say, yo, the lyrics. Yo, you produce some wicked songs. I want to know some. I make some good songs too. Right. Create it songs too. Billboard songs also. Right, right. Um, you was one of the, if I could remember correctly, you were one of the first producers that I know that worked with Movado. That I know, that I remember. <laughs> All right. Um, what was it like working with him at that stage? It was good. It's always a great um, feeling to work with a young artist mm-hmm. because you know. So when them get big, most of them are like tech telling. Facts. But at the time, you know, it was a great vibe. We make some good records. Mm-hmm. Um, we did the wedding I do song. Mm-hmm. Um, we did the song and and the shoot already. Man, we did the, the song with him and um, um vibes, vibes cartel sunrise. Right, right. Good vibe. Right. What was your most enjoyable? I would say experience in the, in the studio with an artist in terms of production the nice the nicest time in a studio with an artist is when you and them the spirit connect right gotcha you know gotcha. no ego you know if you're going to the vicing room and you may come with the lyrics and mother say yo bridging you know say if you take out that and do this it could have be better and you right. try it and if it not work we say yo that not work and if it work we work with it right it's it's nice when you're in the studio with somebody where understand say yo we are do this mm-hmm. for the best when i do it for my ego or your ego we are doing mm-hmm. for the people mm-hmm. well how about visual you know when when you get to visual when you started doing videos was that was that your direction did you hire a visual person to give you a direction for the song or you already had a direction once you wrote the song i always have ideas in my head you know but you know videographer mm-hmm. i feel them job that gotcha i make the music I produce the music, so I can do everything. So sometimes you have to take lessons from somebody else. Right. So you make somebody else do for them craft, right. master for them craft, and when it finish, it just come out to a right. good vibe. Right. Now, you know, originally we knew you as a dance hall artist. <laughs> and the last five, six, probably more years, you've been dabbling, or I would say more into reggae as well. Was that a conscious effort? You know me as a dancer artist. <laughs> I'm glad they put it that way. But yeah. 
I've been doing reggae from the start. Really? Yeah, because um, from Redman days, living mm. in Southside, I reggae music them play, so you have to DJ for reggae rhythm. Gotcha. Um, when, when I moved to Mountain View with Jake's Road, you know, when I play Trisonic, I reggae rhythm I learn for DJ Pan. Sparkling snare, stature sound, mm-hmm. reggae till I go up and stir a mix sound. You know? Okay. So we, we used to do the reggae thing, but right. because a dance hall rhythm or dance hall vibe, then they would have make a boss. Some right. people just label you as this. Gotcha. But I'm a musician. I do reggae, I do dance hall, I do trap, I do chop, I do all kind of music. For my music, I'm ready for you. Oh. Now, you, you know, you, you moved to the US. Did you have any apprehensions when you moved here? Because, you know, folks say, you know, you can't keep up with the music if you don't live in the heart of the, the music itself, which is Jamaica. You know, so I mean, have no, 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 no regret about moving to the US because here I know, I keep connected to the ground. Right. And I know if you make good music, it can it from anywhere. True. You know, and the Lord did best be already and, and, and give me some money in my pocket so I could buy studio equipment mm. and all of that. And I can get to do my recording so I can keep up. And now them come with um, new technology where you can listen to the radio in Jamaica, you mm. can watch a TV and WhatsApp, you can talk to your bridge them and them same right. video until right. they walk on. Right. So living in America, it not really take me away from Jamaica because I live Jamaica. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. And now, and you're also into, obviously, your DJing, your and, radio. And, and then I also, may I do that long time You yeah, do that too. long time too? Yeah. Okay. Is okay. it? May, 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 may select a long time. But as I, as I told you, to me, I feel like I'm a full-fledged um, music man. Gotcha. Coming out once I'm an artist or a producer right, or that. Right. If you put me in a music studio, man, say, so Delhi, do music. The music where they want at the time, if I can't do it, I can do it. And right. if I can't do it, I can try to do it. Right, right. You know, because I was blessed to do this. Mm. Because many times, people would have called me out and say, yo, nothing now, go on. Because you know, them love to, if them not hear you yeah, in a different area, right, right. them say, nothing now, right. go on. But, Rick, I've been touring from the start and I never stop. What, you know, you, you do radio, of course. Has radio helped your career in any way? Doing, being a radio announcer? Of course. Because yeah. I get a chance to send out my music there in the world. Right. Because most of me I play, some people, I know people go to say, yo, him just play himself. But if I, I don't believe in myself, oh, you're going to believe in me. Facts. And I also get the opportunity to hear my competitors. Right. You know, and me, 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 me not one of them way bias. But play a music. True. See, in True. Play, if you sound good, I go play it. But I don't want them to have me off as this real DJ because I'm not that. I'm, I just play music for fun. Got it. Got it. Got it. Your son is now into music. In born in that, man. It's out of my back him come from. <laughs> when, when, when he decided he wanted to do that, did you? what was your advice to him? Or you did know, you give him You know, I tested him in the studio first, right? Right. right. Because I test him in the studio, I send him around there and say, DJ, let me hear you. And he's my DJ. And I tell him, say, no. And that's that another line. <laughs> but while he was living in Jamaica, I used to fool around. I see him and his stepbrother, he used to play music and right. all of that. You know, and I say, yo, I did see how do that, you know. Mm. I'm telling him, I have the radio program, so I show him how to play the Serato. Gotcha. And, and give him music. Gotcha. And say, yo, here we go, do I get three hours to play? I'm mm. going to make a play one hour and a half and I'm going to play one hour and a half. Okay. See, so I just set the tone for him and say, go play anything you want to play till him get better than me. So I know that was his calling. Gotcha. So I'm, I'm a pro with that right now. DJ Popsy, I lock off the whole place. Right. And he's obviously DJ for Timorco. Timorco, yeah. And, and so on and so forth. So yeah, yeah he's, he's coming And I was there the first, the first night in play for Timorco. Yeah. I, I was How did there, he do? I was there, guy. Yeah, he did great. Okay. I was a little bit nervous, but you of know. Of course, of course. I, 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 I just teach him how to do the thing and him, right. him get the thing out of the thing now. And right. I'm really proud of him. And he's made you a grandfather now too, so. I'm, I'm a grandfather before. <laughs> you was a grandfather before? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Proud so grandfather, that, that, that's, I'm sure. That's my second okay. grandchild. Okay. Now, Bianca is also an artist. Well, she's an artist. She don't like do it, but she don't like it. But I know I said, yo, I know I said she have it, Rico. But she have it. She have it. The thing about she it is, it. you can't force them to do true, something. True, true. If she, if she ready, any day she ready, I say, yo, I take on the music full time. Mm-hmm. I'm here to defend her. You see, I have the studio yourself. Right, right, right. See, because I all like Stoney now. So I feel them time. So mm-hmm. anytime they're ready for make it be them playing ground, it's theirs. What, 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 you know, you just said you're old. You're not old, but you said you're old. What keep you inspired? 
the Almighty. Mm. Mm. Yeah, man. Because every morning when I rise, I'm, 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 you know, because mm. they're on the WhatsApp yeah. group, yeah. every morning when I rise, I give thanks yeah. for life and that inspire me to continue. Because one more day above ground, yeah. that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, over the last three, four years, you've had one of the, the biggest rhythms. You know, um, <laughs> the song that I think will go on for life. Uh, six years, you know. It's been six years? Yeah, I released that, so- that, that rhythm 2017. Wow. Wow. Obviously, the big hit song on it, other than other songs, is, is Popcorn's Family. Yeah. <clears throat> when you were in the studio with that rhythm, because, you know, when, when that rhythm came out, it, that wasn't the pace of the rhythm. <laughs> wasn't what was going at the time. Yeah. So when you were in the studio, you know, what made you decide, okay, I'm going to go forward with this rhythm? You know, I'm going to big up my manager, David Smiley, you know, and big up Keel Stone Records because David Smiley really get the rhythm. Mm. Keel Stone make the rhythm and Smiley get the rhythm and brought the rhythm to my attention. Mm. And then I start to work on the beat and then reaching out, reach out to Virgin, get Virgin and it. David was the first person record on that beat. Mm-hmm. I was the second person and then m- 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 we, we have vision popcorn on it. Zine and mm-hmm. me reach out and popcorn like the rhythm also because I tell him say, I have a hit record for him. So you wrote family? No. I just tell him I have a hit record just, for him. Uh, okay. so, you so you just knew? No. I just know if I'm sick by the wow. beat I'm going to hit. Wow. You know? Version. I also record Bujabant and Lickerson on Jazzy on it. Right. You know, so I have to big up everybody who took part and on, on, on this project, the Cotton Saw Rhythm, because um, it creates waves across the world. Yeah. Yeah. Um, big up the engineers, you know, every engineer, the mixing engineer, the master engineer, everybody. Just take out the big up, take out the flowers. Come in, I want it, that glory there. Right, right. So when you know, I know I've seen you in parties a lot of time, and the rhythm comes on, and you, you know, you pretty humble about it. You're in a corner somewhere, and you're pretty humble about it. But, <laughs> but you know, I mean, that got to send trills down your body because that rhythm is literally played all around the world. Uh, Rick, I, must t- I must tell you this. You see, when they know something about like them. Yeah. You know, because I knew before it, it said that rhythm that they got it. Wow. Because it, 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 it have the feel, it mm. have the vibe, it have the joy, it have the happy spirit about it. I may still rest in Zion. Still, I say, every, every rhythm have a dopey in it. I mean, see the dopey in the rhythm there before it even come out. Wow. You know? So, you see me all the while in the party then mm-hmm. when, when um the, the songs them are playing about the place. And you never see me eye about it. No. Nope. Because I just do the work. I love to see people enjoy the music that I make. That's why I'm always in a one corner. I may look for the people them. Because for real, I don't go a party for party you now. But go a party for see all the people them are move to the music. Gotcha. So I can always create something to keep them moving. Gotcha. Do do you think about your last project when you start working on your latest project? No. You don't think about it. No, I'm not thinking about the last. I just continue. Because it's it every music you do. Sometimes I, I may make a music and say I want it like the dance hall, but it do good in the radio. Right. I do good on the radio. Right. You make a video, you say, yo, that video yeah, I gotta do good and it don't do don't good. Do good. Right. So what me do, I just make music. Make the people them enjoy it. Because you may think say, yo, me not hear a Deli Rang song right now in the party. But if you go to Africa, you hear Deli Rangs for kill. Mm-hmm. And I, I always tell people this whenever them talk to me. From the day I step foot in Australia, I deal with music different because that's a different life, a different yes. line of music because I have to perform music that I don't hear over this side. Right. Right. You know? And I, and I right now, I have Australia as one of my main base. Really? Because these people support the ranks. Wow. And I'm, Gambia, I'm, Gambia supports you. Gambia, Gambia Ghana, you. Kenya, Nigeria. I mean, I'm tell you this. Africans them always reach out to me from as, as far as Zimbabwe, mm. Sudan, South Africa. Them, them, them reach out because you know what? Our people, and I'm not disrespecting anyone, but our people, them tend to don't want to give you glory. Facts. See? Facts. Facts. And for me, my virgin tell me some of the talk about it. Them, even the other day when I was in Canada, scatter, scatter boy look at mm. me and tell me, say, Deli, you're one of the column in a dance hall. You have done a lot of great work, but people not see where you do because you not talk about it. But I don't do the work to talk about it, you know. I do the work for people to enjoy themselves. If you want to know, go do your history. Yeah, but, but, you know, could that be a problem in terms of the fact that you could be too humble? No, sir. Me not humble. 
Because Sean is a so we know for we know for say we're humble because right. they say you're humble, them take away everything from you. I'm not really humble. I right, just do yeah. the work and but, um I'm more like I know my purpose and my value. Right. Seeing right. some value myself. And I don't try to um build up people or go on like me more than people. Gotcha. I'm not too I'm not too hard to reason with, but I'm still not too easy for reason with. Gotcha. Because if my spirit and your spirit it, it don't go together, we can't have a good spirit. So yes. most time, so some artists really vex with me too. Because I'm in a record, some of them, them vex with me say, yo, me and all kind of name. Uh-huh. But me, you know, if the most I send me for work with Rico, I have to do it. Yeah, you know, it's funny you should bring that up because I've heard the talk in the streets here in Atlanta that says, Delhi, you know, obviously you're an international artist plus an international producer. And the words in the streets is like, boy, you know, he doesn't reach out and help the folks here. In Atlanta. And I lie them, I tell. Because but, but, but you've heard that talk, I'm sure. Well, it's too, it's too many I listen to the street. Gotcha. They just do yeah. my thing because I'm working with, with Atlanta-based artists. D-Code Atlanta, mm-hmm. G-Rock Atlanta, mm-hmm. myself Atlanta, mm-hmm. Demarco Atlanta, mm-hmm. you know. But I tell you, sometimes if the spirit not to do it, I can't go against God's speed. I gotta, I gotta drive my vehicle in and I may do it, you know. So if me reach out to you and say, no, and them, them seminar, I even record Blizzy Italian. I know. I reach out to him and say, yo, youth, I want to work with you. And him come here, I, I, I took my portable studio and go, and go right with him there and record him. So, you know, sometimes everybody now go say, you're good. Facts. There's somebody have to say you're bad because it's negative and positive bring forth light, the energy. Yeah, sure. So you're, if you're too good, something wrong. And if you're too bad, something wrong. Because even a man with himself, the biggest gunman and everything, you have people out there that talk good about them. Facts. Facts. So I, I'm, I'm not doing this to please mankind. I'm pleasing the most high. With the resurgence of 80s, 90s, dancehall, all, this, all that style, how, how do you feel about that? <laughs> Repeat the question. <laughs> there's a you know there's a there's a renewed interest in eighties nineties dance hall. Yeah, right. Um, because you know you, you have the trap music, and we're not knocking no yeah, we're tap, not knock no people, man. We just do the thing, right? Okay. But with the resurgence and the, the renewed interest in it, how do you feel about that? Rico, the feeling is overwhelming, overwhelming. Because you know what, them always feel like our oh, music are the least when the to, to the thing flip over. Right. But now I see everybody want to keep a 90s party or an 80s party and you know them double clean of the new something. But what I don't like, some of the promoter them don't want to pay with good money. But they rather rather pay the youths them good money and then them cost the youth them when the youth them come up and don't perform good. Right. You know? Me now, not cause the youth them. I want the youth them charge them the money because they deserve it. And the promoter them now, if we start giving our money that we deserve. Because to be here with a career over 30 years, okay. you have to do something good if you can rub shoulder with the youth them. So, them for start looking at it and say, yo, what is good for the ghost supposed to be good for the Gandhi? Facts. Gander. Facts. No, you, again, you coming from that era. I come from the 80s. From the 80s, okay. Um, you were coming from an era where you could as you said before, you can mash up a stage show with just two songs. Right? What do you mean? Cause, because you have, you have to learn how to freestyle from them time there. Uh, them where they, you, you, you prove say you're bad. But that's, if, but, but that's one of the main differences now. Yeah, well, because it, time evolves still in Arika. That's why I say we can't knock the youth them because now the youth them come with them computer, them fruity loops or them serato right. or them cubase or whatever they might use and create a hit song. Right. Them never get fit do the playing field where we go upon where we learn that because now it's not there for them. Them get a different time because we are come from tape and record. Right. Now with their MP3, MP4 and YouTube and Facebook and TikTok right. and all of them thing there. We never have that. We did have to go out and dance there, go mash up the place and them ear pan cassette and say that youth are bad and when we go over the next area, them go so rough and say, yo, I in the ear pan the cassette. Mm. Now, me and you in the studio right now, we can create something and sell it out right now and it's it right now. True. So, you can say, a fast food I sell now. Mm. Back then, you have to cook the food <laughs> make sure and make sure it cool cooked. down. Yeah, and, and rare. <laughs> right. So, we keep, we, me want to get one of them fast food songs that you know. Right. Because, trust me, them little youth, they make enough money. 
But the only thing me want to tell them, make sure you want to save that for the rainy day. Gotcha. Because nothing lasts forever but salvation. Gotcha. What, you know, what haven't you done yet? I don't do a movie yet. I don't do acting yet. I don't want to do something like that. <laughs> so none of your songs have made it to a soundtrack yet? Yeah, man. Okay. Um, the real world, what a girl can why they, they make, make it okay. to that. Okay. You know, and people reach out because my publisher, my administrator, Kennedy Mensa, big up yourself, I always uh, get my thing them in a something, you know? Gotcha. So sometimes when people feel, say, we just make music alone or mm. them, we sing song alone. We have other things where we do. Mm. And we have to big up Sean Paul because Sean Paul always, always reach out. Always reach out. Sean Paul, the dance hall king. Right. Uh, one of the dance hall king, because you know the dance hall king, them so much about a man who say, yo, I'm going rate Sean Paul, I'm going rate the artist. Yeah. But I rate every artist because we're all kings and queens in the, right. in the music industry. Right. You have plans on working with a popcorn again or, or a beanie man again or any, any, any one of those artists? Anything the Lord say, you know, or the Lord may I work off. Of. Well, in Jamaica the other day, I make a nice connection with Bunty Killer mm. and I feel like we're going to do some studio work, you know, okay. and I, I, I'm looking forward for that because Bunty Killer, one of my DJ them from me, a youth, I come up, you mm. know, we're, we're forward in the music and I rate him vibe because he always try to help a youth. Right. And right. I feel like me and him serve that same purpose in the music. Try to help somebody. Because no matter what them say, I always try to help somebody. Facts. Always. Facts. Facts. Either selector, producer, musician, artist, check it. I always try to help them. When I walked in here, you was working on a, on a new thing. I, I don't want to bust this to see or anything <laughs> like that. But, you know, what, when you listen to those older rhythms, you know, it's an older rhythm that you're bringing back. You know, you know obviously, those are all, all of them are good. How do you decide which one to choose from? No, from it good, it good enough. Um, to me, my all right, get this straight. My love trap music, you know. Mm. It's the only thing I, I, I don't really enjoy sometimes the songs that they on it. Gotcha. But it have a vibe because they always are singing about flossing and mm. party and everything. I mean, like when they say they're going to kill people and right. rap people and everything. I mean, I like that party, but the beat itself, it gives a vibe. Right. It may not. Be like an 80s or a 90s vibe, but it's an evolution. So we have to work with what we are now. Right. And we now try to force our something them upon the youth. Them. Right. Because right. I, I can remember when 90s music are running things, some of the 80s man them never like it neither, you know. Because it come different. Right. So now them youth are come different. Some people now go like it. But me now have a problem with it. Hmm. As a producer and an artist yourself, who do you rate as a producer? Maria Steely and Cleavy, Sly and Rabbi, Tony Kelly, mm-hmm. DF Kelly, Maria um, Bobby Digital, Maria Donovan Jeremy, you know. Um, the all new those youth, that you say are all veterans. Yeah, the new youth, them, Maria, the Friends for Real family, because I, I really enjoy the mixing. Mm-hmm. Um, Sean Izzel, mm-hmm. um You have some new youth, I don't mean, really know them name, like, like Russian. Mm-hmm. And them you them like what them I do to the music. You have, you have a lot of you them, the, the, the new you them I do good. Right. But some of them I don't know them. I right. don't know them right. name, I hear the music them and I like them. Right. But I also respect every artist who can record themselves. Gotcha. Because you see, when they're forward in, a, in a the studio, you see me record myself. Because mm-hmm. that gives you a, a, um, a different outlook on the music. So whenever I record a song and I send it to the producer, if I'm my thing, when them get it, it will put together. You coming from an era where artists and artists used to buck up into the studio and hold a vibe, hold a joy, and, and the music, it, it, it sounds that way. <laughs> you know? it, it, it's, it's, it, there's a difference now because everybody's doing it in their Listen own. Listen this, yeah. Rico, let me tell you. You know why 90s music so nice? Mm. Because you just said the, 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 the magic. The magic is we all used to be in the studio. If I turn away in the studio, then we put the energy in the man in the vice booth. So when the people them hear about that, them hear that love the where I come from, the ten of us, right. to make one record. Right. And when me come out, the same energy till everybody right. finish record. That's the reason why when the ear are juggling in the nineties, every song can eat because of the same love in it. No, the youth them lock up in them house or lock up in our studio right. and do it by and I do it by themselves. And there's not another brain there to help you. 
to say, yo, you know, say, although that body can try this, you know. No, Delhi, don't say it like that, man. Say it like this. We don't have that no more. Gotcha. So, they're yeah, fine, say, even the youth, them now, I don't want to say them selfish because I don't know. But nobody now want to share. Because everybody now start watch publishing and he might go get the clad this if my song it and, mm. and you know if the song go eat it. But sometimes at the sharing make the song it. Right. Because wow. your energy and my energy bring forth more energy. So when you hide and I try to do it by yourself, yeah, sometimes it work, but majority majority of the time it don't work. Mm. Because spirits have to go together for bring forth that energy there. What's next for Delhi Ranks? Well, we have a whole heap of thing. Go back to Jamaica, go do um, DJ Smurf, birthday bash, me and Richie Stevens. Mm-hmm. After that, Jamaica again, um, Chanel Muir, myself, Virgin, and Javilani, we're going to be in, in, in um, St. Anne's. Big show that, um, what do you call it? Heroes Weekend Show. After that, Europe. After that, Canada. I will eat thing because me so nev- you stay busy. Yo, me stay busy, man. And when me not stay busy, you know me do family thing. Right, right. As in, and as you can see, me always are putting the work in at the studio because if you don't have the record, you don't have the record. What I like about you is that you're very dedicated to the radio show. And, and, <laughs> and you know, <laughs> that's one thing that I rate with you because, you know, when you're not here, you'll call me and say, listen, can you put, run a rerun? A repeat now, Rico, let me tell you this. I dedicate to everything what I do. Gotcha. I don't know how to do something 50%. If I can't do it 100%, I'm not going to do it. Gotcha. If a girl's thing, I 100%. Mm-hmm. If a music, I 100%. If a badness, I 100%. Because we we'll come through all of them having you there. You see me? Because I'm not going to go like, me just a goody goody shoe and squeaky clean. Me have my dirty side too. Mm-hmm. But I choose not to stay dirty. <laughs> um, like I said, you, you, you're, you're a producer, you're a writer, you're an artist. You said you want to get into movies. Yeah, my mom going into the acting part. You say I do the acting part and it work. Mm. I know it's going to work forever. Okay. Because I get a whole heap of car. Because they don't see me in that part there yet. True. Most True. people don't know say me can't do it. I just want to get the opportunity to bring across my vibe right. into the movie world. Right. Who would you want to work with that you have not worked with yet? Bounty Killer. You never work with Bounty? No. Wow. I never produce a song with Bounty Killer. And, and we just link up the other day in Jamaica and it seems like it's a I'm, I'm, I'm sure, I can tell you this on this show, anytime me and Bounty Killer make a record, it's after it. That's, that's um, bringing it forward, paying it forward. Not, I speak it in being. Speak it into being, yeah. Yeah. Wow. So big up yourself, Rodney Price. We're going to make a lot of it records. Right. Because my love for see where I do. I love it. Bounty mm. Killer always I try to help the youth them. Yes. So if two people who love to help people join forces together, it have to become successful. Afi. You know, I, I know this is like asking who's your favorite child, but of all the production that you've done, <laughs> <laughs> you know where I'm going with this. Your favorite production thus far. Uh, you know, uh, I love everything, but I can tell you my favorite production is the NEC Rhythm. Okay. Because the NEC Rhythm brought me a, a, a Grammy success. Gotcha. You know, that was a rhythm Sean Paul and Chico did the song right. Ganja Breed and, and, I, and I got it and Sean Paul's Dirty Rock album right. and you know, it, it put me in a society. Gotcha. So, we, God is safe, if you get where you come from, you know, I'm not where you go, so I can't forget that. Mm-hmm. What did that do for you in terms of, you know, being a caller Grammy producer? Grammy producer? It put me in a day. They yeah. know the, the, the people who do the thing, you know? <laughs> right. Yeah, because yeah, it's just like getting a Grammy. Right. Right. You know, if, if, if as, an, as an artist, if I get a Grammy, that's good. Right. So I get the Grammy as a producer. Grammy is a Grammy. Grammy is a Grammy. So big up Sean Paul again. Right. Because without Sean Paul, that would have, well, I had Billboard success with the Red Bull and Guinness with him, you know? Um, I did the Jiggy Time with Vice Neal, where shot over this or two. We still a lot the world and mm. thing. So, do the thing, Rico, man. Do the thing. Mm. Speaking of the jiggy time, you know, what was it like well, working with Bogle? It was great. Because Bogle, I'm a virgin from a long time. Because Bogle tell me to do Pelpa, you know. Really? 
Bogo said, Delhi, go make a song in Bood Boy. I'm a tough kid, Doc said, Delhi, I'm said, Delhi ranking. Because of that Bogo called me, Delhi ranking. Mm-hmm. Delhi ranking. Go make a song, say, Wood Boy, I help him and I help him. I got it. I can remember that day when Bogo told me that and the night I make the song, I recorded it the other day. And they just shot. New York City, where we go to New York City, you have Pelpa crew over there. Them just give me crazy money. Crazy, crazy money. Big up Raymond Pelpa and Zion took us. Them man, they give me crazy money and say, yo, DJ, I always sang this. And them time, I never did know so that song, there was a song, it's a problem song. Because Bogle really say my helper and Willie Aga. But Bogle say my helper and Willie Aga. Them say Willie Aga say my helper. But me just that make music I found me and make. And if you notice in the video, Bogle and Willie Aga in the video. Yeah. yeah, I noticed that. You know, so it's a great vibe. You know, when they, when they make music from the heart with a great spirit, it naga bring forth an animosity. You, you've lost so many people in the business. You just lost, I think, it was Jawiz. Jawiz. Jawiz were there. You know, how does that make you feel? You've worked with so much of people that are now no longer here. Yo, Rico, you're just touching your heart, star. Trust me. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. It's the last year I know you want. I will for my friend them pass off. I will for people my work with them gone, you know. You know, sometimes I look on even the picture with myself, Bogland, O'Neill and Craig, Kevin. And me I said, you know, Reggie Nibas gone, he producer Daddy Champion gone. See, Jawiz was like my little son, my brother. I could have called up on him and reason with him about anything. And he might find a solution. When Jawis passed, believe my brother, up to this day, you know, you bring up, you bring up him name and it, it changed my mood. You know, many days, I always say, I wish he was alive. Because when I make music, he's a youth, eh? tell me when I do it good. And tell me when I do the music good. And I'm always willing to help me to be better than myself. So Jawis, no worry. The love never change. Go and scan can with the angels, Zane. Eh? Till we meet again, brother. Sorry. Enough love. What's um what's the most important message you think you can give to an upcoming artist, producer, anybody in the business? Just stay real. Keep it real. Work hard. Don't bad mind people for where them have. Because you don't know the journey. When you start your journey, maybe you'll find or feel a way about the other person's journey, you know? Put in the best in everything you do, man. Even if nobody rate you or, or people doubt you, you just put the best in a you. Put out the best at all times because you don't know what the people going to love next. See? Um, respect your elders always. Don't try to cheat the game. See? Don't look for shortcuts because as a youth, I grew up, I used to shortcut your blood, you know? When you when run the course, man, the glory, the victory, I got always be glorious. Just believe me. I'm a testimony to that because enough time them doubt me, you know. But me make it because me never doubt myself. Same. Same. Shout out to folks around the world, you know. I mean, it's been, you know, powerful. To everybody, all walks of life, everywhere in the world, just remember this. Every morning when you rise, give thanks for life because enough people never make it through the night. Before you retire, every night, give thanks again because enough people never make it through the day. Before you eat your food, always bless your food before you eat it because while you're eating, some people now have nothing to eat. And remember, just do good all the time and don't do good for returns because when the return will come for your good, you're not going to know but it will come if you do it without ego. Have a blessed day. Daily ranks. My brother, appreciate you, man. Always <laughs> keeping it love, real. Man. Enough love. My special Thank guest you. today, Daily Ranks, Pure Music Production, Pure Music Studio. I love the studio, by the way. Thank you. Put in the work, you know? <laughs> yeah, I love it. Yeah, put in the work, you know? Oh, we'll catch you next time on another edition of Take Five. Love and love alone. Love in the house.
This episode of Take 5 with Rico Vibes is brought to you by Join us in paradise where seven miles of white sandy beaches, beautiful people, delectable food and pulsating music, energy and vibes is the norm. Let's celebrate 15 years of making dreams a reality. It's Campari Dream Weekend in the Grill, Jamaica, August 2 to 6, 2024. Five days of nonstop premium drink and food inclusive events. It's the festival that never sleeps, featuring local and international artists and DJs that leave you breathless day and night. Forget all the stress that life brings for five days of fun can done. My dude, my dude. Hey! Come to Jamaica. Come to Campari Dream Weekend. Starting from as low as $300 US for eight events over five days with $100 deposit. All events are premium drink and food inclusive. Book now at dreamweekend.com. Must be 18 years or older to attend. Drink responsibly.